<laughs> Welcome to the 707 show and I'm Moira Bush and I'm Catherine Jujak and tonight um, Catherine the Bluehead Medium and myself we are going to offer you some psychic readings or some color readings or guidance readings or some kind of whatever, reading whatever pops it'll, it'll through. be colorful anyway <laughs> So if you're interested in receiving a reading, you need to say, hello, I want a reading in the comments box. We'll pick it up over here. Yeah. Michael, our producer, will let us know and yeah. we will we'll do a chat. Yeah. So Ask a question. If you're new to The 707 Show, we're on a Facebook group called The 707 Show. And today, funnily enough, we had 666 members. I saw that. 666. Six, six. Six. Hope no one's superstitious. And <laughs> love, love, love. It's not the other 666. We, our, our goal is now to get it to 707 members. So we, what we're challenging you to do tonight is to share the show on timelines and groups, invite people to join and become a member. Because it's yeah. only if you're a member of the group that you can actually have access to comment and, and join us live yeah. on and get the, the notices show. and other yeah. than, than other people mm. sharing it. But yeah, no, it's yeah. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun, a lot of interesting guests. So while we wait for everybody to join in, I thought uh, I'd share a little something that happened to me today. I was on and uh, just 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 a conversation with Catherine. You drop you 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 drop in and tune in. So I had on the Magenta show today. I had a, a guest, um, fabulous guy called Sunil um, Tulsiani, and he's a very successful property guy. He's real like red energy, you know, salesman business, energy, business, 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 and a very successful guy. And, and had a, he was really great. And then straight after that, I had to go and meet, um, um, what, I don't know if you like to be in love with a monk, but I am. <laughs> I had to go and meet Bhante Saranapala and, um, at, at his temple, and he's very violent and spiritual. So I had this real heaven on earth day today. Wow. Um, so I had, had a business meeting with Bhante and, um, and then had the magenta show. So I, and of course, that's bottle 12. And Sunil on the magenta show went and put this heaven on earth bottle on the, on the table. I haven't seen, I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. You got to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting little bits and pieces of it. So, but so uh, it's just amazing how the colors just tell the story. Yeah. Eh? So yeah, I've had a very heaven on earth day. So uh, the best way to top it off <laughs> is somewhere, <laughs> it's, somewhere, it's somewhere in the middle. Between. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a we get a little bit grounded and we get a little bit spiritual with you, my good friend Catherine. That's fantastic. Yeah. See, so yeah, what do we got us. here? Joanne. Oh, your daughter's oh, hi, joined. Hi, Karen. Hi, doll. Joined us, Shannon's here. Joanne, hello. I want a reading. Hi. Um, hey, Armin Sarah. Share. Sarah's on as well. Hello, Sarah. And we Shana and darling. everybody. Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. So, um, yeah, please. Shannon also goes, um, loves reading. Oh, Joanne's saying your blue hair looks fabulous. Thank you. Yes, it's uh, it's new. We um, started noticing that more and more people were starting to go with, you know, the blue color hair that I had. And then, so I went to the five different colors and more and more people were doing that. So I said to my stylist, I said, okay, we need to do something. You're a trendsetter girl. And <laughs> then I, so then I said to her, I said, you know, I look, I rock and I look awesome in denim. So this is what we're going for. So she's an amazing chemist. Her name's Mary Jo. Dalmore Salon and Simcoe. <laughs> we don't do advertising <laughs> on 707. <laughs> we just, we she's <laughs> awesome. I tell you, if any, you know, these people that don't realize, um, hairstylists, like what she yeah. because this isn't something you just pop out of a can no, it's, she's it's, had to, i can't remember yeah. how many colors she said that she needed to do and I, we didn't know what was going to be going on what color was going to you so were hoping just like, because she's a blue head medium that it would come out blue blue of some sort <laughs> <laughs> Catherine. okay so um in again because we've got miss blue on the show at any time you feel spontaneous enough to to send us some blue hearts, please do, <laughs> and um, and pop them into pop them into the comments box. And um, please, if you want a reading, put in there. I want a reading, and um, we'll yeah. we'll, we'll and if get you have, going. Yeah. And yeah. if you have a specific question, because it's a really short timeline, then we can just target and bang. Yeah, we want this. definitely want we want specific questions. Yeah. So I, I just want to mention that um, um, you, you're probably looking at two semi psychic zombies here tonight. So we're going to really be channeling from somewhere way out of our bodies. Because you've just been, you've just done a four-day four show. Event. Yeah, four-day event in and Kitchener. And you told me one day you did 17, 17. readings. Yeah. And like, you must be so, you like, you, you know that spiritual drunk you get afterwards? Yeah. Like you, you woozy, did you have that? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Lee hasn't, uh, it's the first time he experienced it because he's, you yeah. know, he's fronting shows for me now. And on Sunday morning, uh, or Monday morning yesterday when I got up, I was walking, I was, he's going like, what's the matter with you? I said, 
oh, I'm just drunk. And he goes, you only had one glass of wine. I went, yeah, I said, it's a psychic drunk. I said, when, I said, this is what happens. I said, when, you know, I said, I, cause I usually eat a lot of protein. Um, I have the carb craving in the morning to get me fueled. And then I have the protein craving yeah. at night. So like I had great big honk and steak. Um, but you still get that it's, it's drunk just, feeling yeah, every day. Yeah. Cause you're tuning into high energy and that energy yeah. is oh, yeah. that and frequency. It feels so great. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> no hangover. <laughs> So develop your psychic gifts, my darlings, and you'll learn what a psychic drunk feels like. Anyway, you're just high all the time. Uh, let's have a look. Julia and Francis also said, "Oh, hi, Sue. Reading. She's she's new. We we we, we maybe want to to tune into Juliet as well. You've got some blue oh. hearts from Sue. Hello, Sue, darling. We we were just talking about you in a good way. And um and Marsha is there. Oh, this oh, is wonderful. Oh, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen. I love your hair and love you. Oh. Yeah, she's uh, this this woman here, Kathleen is. She is a doll, just amazing when it comes being gift. She doesn't, she doesn't trust herself on being as gift as that she is. You want to know anything about fairies? She's a fairy lady. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Ooh, Kathleen. Oh you yeah. Need, maybe you need. To bring I think her on I was just gonna say. I think I guest. need to bring her on as a guest. Oh, yeah, Ms. yeah. Yeah. Queen's looking for guests to have on the show. Okay. So let's just have a look here. Um, Juliet Francis. Okay. So you did say you wanted a reading, Juliet. And I know you're new to the show, so we would we and, and to 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 all of the the. Uh, she's been following the Magenta show as well. She's been right. really amazing and participating. What we'd like you to do, Juliet, is ask a question. All right. Yep. And that goes for Shannon and Joanne as well you've also asked for a reading you must ask a specific question please pop it into the comments box and Michael will keep an eye on it and make sure that we don't miss it and um, and and uh, Miss Blue and I will tap in okay actually Marsha I'm just looking at Marsha's question there and the all and I almost started to laugh sorry not at the question Marsha but the fact that the bottle is sitting right there and what Moira went through today because that's exactly what how it's I'm exactly seeing it. what's happening in the consciousness Marsha so today on the I'll just recap because you probably missed the beginning of the the show um today on the magenta show bottle number 12 was picked and it's called heaven on earth and it's read at the bottom that relates to the business world to the corporate world to to the material world and then the violet on top is very spiritual and of course the magenta show is called the magenta show because i'm i'm on a mission to try and bridge the two worlds taking spirituality into business into entrepreneurship to and helping with helping with personal and spiritual development and um so today i had a really fabulous businessman on the show and the magenta show and then straight after that i went to bante, bante yeah. and um and had a meeting mm. with with the urban buddhist monk a very successful meeting with, with well he's just a beautiful soul it was so i really mm. went from 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 the material world into the spiritual, spiritual world and this weekend mm -hmm. the at the show um because I may read a little bit differently than most meanings because of just the way yeah. that my life has evolved since I was little. Um, but what I love seeing is I had the honor of um, reading or having a session with a nine-year-old who was going on 40. Yeah. And spiritually probably about 150. Her consciousness is already Big, okay. massive. And her mom yeah. is gifted, her yeah. grandmother and her aunt. Yeah. And But there's so many people that are I'm noticing that they're going into a struggle because this is the way that the world is supposed to be but this is what I'm feeling over here mm -hmm. and it's just like I understand this over here yeah. but it's not sitting right because of yeah, the other conscious part over can't have here the separation anymore Catherine. yeah it's mixing that two together it's so mixing there's yeah. the two I mean I had to when I was on the show with Sunil I had to I, I brought some spirituality into the conversation and when I was with Bante we had to bring some business into the conversation it had to be you, you had Equal, to be grounded balanced, and spiritual at the same time so the, the, the consciousness Marsha to answer your question Question. the consciousness is shifting yeah. to an integrative state where we we don't live in that separated state very difficult you I don't know why humans decided this was a good idea <laughs> because we live in a planet of duality yeah it, the separation is natural to us putting things into categories of good and bad but we we've decided that that we're going to become very spiritual on the planet and and go back to a state of of unity a state of um, of no judgment and no separation so yeah. that is what's happening on the on the planet. So people are either now going into panic, and um, because they feel yeah. that things are changing, they have no control over, or they're going to surrender and go with the flow, and 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 it's going to be an easier ride. But boy, there is a ride coming on. So maybe oh, that yeah. Marsha's feeling. Absolutely, yeah, on. absolutely. Okay, we've so, got a question from Juliet. Uh, <clears throat> three career opportunities that have been presented to me, but for some reason, it's delays. 
Okay, read it out loud because people on the okay. um, on yeah, podcast I just, need uh, to yeah. get it. So, okay, so yeah. I have okay. few, uh, three career opportunities that have been presented to me, but for some reason I've experienced so many delays. I'm wanting to get closure to move forward. Mm. Um, three career opportunities. I'm not sure. I get the... <clears throat> Why do we get the feeling that one of these is going to, even though it may not seem it's right now, but it's, and it almost feels it's a, if it's the one that you were sort of really um, more leading towards, but eventually it's going to have to cause you to move. And I don't know if you're ready or if you're willing and open to, you know, pick up and leave. I don't, you know, to, to move. And it's not that it's going to be anything bad or not, but there's... Um, it, uh, I'm also getting the feeling that there's like a fourth job or something, I'm something coming something in that's going to yeah. be, um, cause it's kind of coming in from the side that you're not expecting. So I don't know if you've been putting out to the universe that, you know, you want a job change and these three jobs are good, but it's not the perfect mm. job that you want, which oh, you can I'm, ask I'm, for. Are you interested in camera work, Juliet? Do you, oh, when like you I'm watch shows well. like this, yeah. Breeze broadcasts, are you interested in this this kind of work and serving in this kind of way? I'm 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 seeing I'm just seeing a camera right in her face. So yeah, there's something, but there's mm. a four there's a fourth opportunity coming forward. It's, so and I feel yeah. that the universe is just kind of holding mm. everything back a little bit. So um, literally, just you know, this ride that you're saying in, that you're going on, um, take your hands literally take your hands off the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. And just put them on your lap and have a glass of wine, drink and drive. Because right now, everything just like you can. We don't give that <laughs> kind of advice on the spiritual Spiritually. show. <laughs> um, because it's, um, yeah, because it, it's, you're kind of like sitting and driving yeah. like this right now of angst. Yeah. And it's just like, is something going to come? Is it going to come? Is it going to come? Yeah. And it's just like anything else. And, and, it, and we all do it. We all do it. We get ourselves sort somewhat tunnel vision that we kind of put up blinders even like to the open shutters but you can't see everything because you know sometimes it can get yeah. shadowed so just taking it down just sitting it back and relax so that you can see the whole thing allow it to come to you don't force it yeah she's saying so, the one involves travel and yes yeah. i have been speaking with universe and yes podcast and yes podcasting yeah so D yeah it's all in one and there is that yeah. travel that movement yeah, yeah. so but yeah. i i i feeling that there's a yeah. fourth opportunity coming in that is going to be the one that's going to encompass everything that you want. So don't make a decision right now. Just wait until that fourth yeah. one appears and it becomes, it presents itself a little bit clearer. Timing is timing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So you were saying something about the next full moon. We've just yeah, been through moon. a little hectic one now. <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, for some reason I, um, the next full moon is, um, we were talking about the weather. Mm. Um, but it also, you know, everybody knows that uh, it also affects the emotions as yeah. well. But, um, yeah, there's something, there's something in there, Juliet. So just, you know, just allow everything just to flow along the way that it is right now. Like literally they're showing you, um, somewhat like floating down a st on a stream. Um, and you've got, um, oh gosh, <laughs> um, this a foot here on a leaf, your other foot on a leaf, but you have a third foot on another leaf and you're trying to balance all of these and then you've got your arms trying to grab branches as you're going down and you don't need to if you just because the water's not very deep so just like just step off and just allow the water to flow get rid of anything that's making you feel unstable so unstable thoughts and stuff like that Good. so I hope, really... we hope you enjoyed that Juliet. okay we've got michael just scroll back down we've got um joanne's question is here <clears throat> yesterday mm -hmm. I did a meditation and a cord cutting to remove old people and energies that have come back into my life. I felt drawn to use Red Angel and Soul, these are Calamaris bottles, while doing it. Am I on the right path? Oh, this is interesting. I don't know if you're going to like the answer to this one, Joanne. Um... They're asking you to remove, um, and I don't know why, um, because it's not totally meant for me to know, but to remove all tools, so no sprays, no, no candles, no incense, and go into that meditation and the cord cutting and just completely use 
your own energy and your own soul just to completely do what needs to be done. Um, interesting, I'm not really quite sure who's coming through and saying this and, and saying that there's tools to be used when they're meant to be used, but don't allow a crutch to knock your feet out. And I'm not sure what they exactly mean by that. I don't know if you, so it's just removing, basically, basically standing naked and just allowing your own energy to do all the cord cutting and then bring everything in. So there's a Does reason, there's a reason they came back. And so you're learning something about standing on your own two feet and being on your own, being in your own power and standing up for yeah. yourself. So, um, you know, cutting cords is great because you say you want to let go, but if it's they not white cutting or there's still a, a thread there is because there's still something valuable to learn so mm -hmm. when you cut cords you also for anybody who's watching if you could do a cutting cord ceremony you have to be very very clear that you start off by saying if this is for my highest good right now in, in other words have i learned everything i needed to and is it okay to end the story to cut the cord to then move on and if not say very clearly right in my face tell me what it is that i am missing and um, but I, I I get a feeling the same the same as blue. It's it's there's something for you to learn here about um, you know stepping into your own power. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, you know and yeah. and you know at, at one time in life as uh, and you're going through a spiritual growth as well that we you know that we bring certain tools in that make us feel comfortable mm. and you know being able to help us to move to the next step or you know, whatever it may be. But what they're wanting you to do now is basically strip yourself naked mm -hmm. and do it all just with Joanne, with no, with nothing else around. So I hope that, I hope okay. that makes sense. It's going to put you into a fear factor because it's just like when people, you know, when, when you do self work, mm -hmm. you know, taking the clothes off and standing in front of a mirror and actually physically looking at your mm -hmm. body. So this is going to be very similar to that. Okay, and so. did uh, Michael, did Shannon ask her question? Because she was another one asking for a... Not yet. Shannon, you need to ask your question, darling. You said you wanted a reading. Okay, is there anybody else that wants a reading? You're very welcome to say, I want a reading, and then put your question into the comments box, and Catherine and I will have a little look at that. Okay. Yeah, just to mm -hmm. talk a little bit more about Marsha's uh, Marsha's comment is, mm -hmm. um, I've, I've noticed, I've been in Canada three and a half years now, and from the minute I landed to what I'm observing now, it's like chalk and cheese when I go to events. Now, these could be spiritual events or business business events, the red or the, 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 the violet event. And and I can definitely see that there's a shift. And and so often when I have guests on the Magenta show, you know, business coaches, they, they are saying that they're having a problem with their businesses because they can no longer just give business advice. They, they have to, you know, get down to the nitty gritty, the emotional and the, the patterns yeah. and the fears and, yeah. you know, the procrastination, all those kind of things that sit in, in, their, in, in their clients' bodies and minds. And they know if they don't heal that or shift that in some way, they're not going to get any business done. So yeah, even I, even just in main in mainstream um, yeah. coaching, that that yeah. is a conversation. I have, that's a, happening. I have a lot of clients, um, and it started about two and a half, three years ago, um, where they would come, and a few of these men. Mm -hmm. had come because their wives <laughs> said that you need to go and talk to her and it but it's totally different it was it started with them with personal and then it shifted over into business mm -hmm. and now I have these men they come you know I have a couple they come twice a year I have some they come like three times another one they, they uh, two others that come quarterly mm -hmm. because they found that when they had a better understanding on how they're spiritual mm -hmm. how they're energetic they they some of them still can't say the word spiritual, how their energetic body works <laughs> and that it has also been helping them in their business because they have now recognized that what has, was going on and is going on in their yeah. business, they now see that they, they see themselves in it. It is so cool. Yeah. It is so cool. So, you know, and the, and there is so much of that. Yeah. So, in oh, it's... The, shift, uh, the shift's happening. The shift yeah, is happening. it is. Okay. It is. Right. Um, oh, Marina, Marina George. Hello, Marina. I am going through a transition mm -hmm. with career. What guidance do you have? Um, what is it that you do, Marina? Can you pop that in there? 
for some reason I have to know in order for this to uh, so Marina oh. you need to you need to come and you need to just pop into into that um, what it is that you do and um, Okay, let's see. Okay, well, there's always a Facebook delay, so there's no yeah. dead air here. There's yeah. just Facebook it's, delay. Um, I'll wait for Marina's to come with, in. With Marina, I don't know if you're going um, if you're going to school or thinking about taking classes or something, but um, when they show me a desk or a table and it's all full of books, it usually indicates college, university, or something that's full-time. If it's workshops, they'll put like a book over here and a book over here. If it's online, it it's a book and uh, recruitment and spiritual. So that explains that. Because um, I don't know, are you looking at, at um, going for like to get some sort of a certification that is going to be a, like a almost like a short term intense course? Because as I was explaining about the full desk with all the books and everything, they're showing a full desk with a lot of books. They're not showing a workshop or a one or two day thing like so it's something that's going to be for a little like you know I don't know a few months anyways because there's lots of books so I don't know if that's something that you've been looking at on you know going to um, you know they, I know that they now have some um, I've seen them uh, you know colleges spiritual colleges and that kind of stuff so I'm not really really sure what it is. But there's, or come, or come to Calamaris. We can help you yeah, too. Marina. Yeah. So, but there's a lot. It's intense <laughs> learning. Is is just to put it in a nutshell. Can you tell? I read all weekend. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Um, Evan saying hello, la hello, ladies. Hello, hello, darling, Evan. We hope you're you're better now and that all yeah. the sessions with that chemo stuff is done and you're healthy and back 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 on your feet. Okay. Let us know how you're doing. Um, oh, um, mm -hmm. Juliet saying that she's seen it. In, yeah, with it be having that spiritual and the red. Yeah, Christine Rain says my life has been very challenging lately. A lot of changes. Am I on the right path? There's a lot of people that literally, for lack of question. a better, of, lack of a better phrase, mm -hmm. they feel like their lives have gone ass over tea kettle and they have <laughs> no clue. Yeah. Um, it's. There's still going to be some, and I don't know why they're giving me the word rupturing, but it's not in that bad of a way. Is is there something, I'm getting the feeling that there's something that you're going through and that you're not quite sure if you are or want to let go of something. And if it's a past emotion, if it's, or it's a past incident or something, I'm feeling that it's something from the past, like in this life, that is coming forward with an emotion. And if it's still coming forward with an emotion, it's a wall that you're hitting because you'll get so far and then it'll stop you. I feel it's there's some kind of a fear and I don't feel that you've identified it because fear is just an umbrella. And there's mm -hmm. so many like insecurity and everything is is down there. I'm getting the phrase they keep, they keep doing and, and I've got this one guy and he's going, the quotation things. So it's like doing some, you know, like clearing of your yourself mm. and doing some self She's work so a lot of health uh, issues my husband uh, made a huge career change and oops. death in the family yeah yeah honey it's that is a yeah so that's you, a lot going on yeah and when yeah. you've got you know when you've got health issues going you know going on i mean it just compounds because you get exhausted mm -hmm. and then the little things seem so much bigger and then that's when securities run in i was going mm -hmm. through some health issues and I just basically, you know, and I know it's difficult just to take that deep breath and say that you know that everything's going to be okay. Allow yourself to go through whatever needs to go through with this death thing. Mm. Because there's so many people, and I had a lot of that over um, at this four-day show that I was at, that so many people were saying, you know, like, um, you know, my my spouse or my mm. friend or whatever you know it's been five months or it's been a year and a half and people say i should move forward you move forward when, when you're you know ready. when you're yeah. ready it's just when you feel it becomes <laughs> you know it, it becomes just to take over your life mm -hmm. so yeah i'm hoping i'm hoping christine that that was useful for you darling um anastasia she asked to go i didn't want to miss her she yeah. said i'm feeling sadness and easy to get upset today is it myself or energy of the world? Not sure I need to work on something special in a few days. Um, Anastasia, we, we, we've had a very tricky emotional moon. And, um, and and very much, you know, the moon works on the tires. It works on the female's body. So it has been stirring up things, especially around mothers. 
around mothering and you're connecting with mother energy and that ties in with Gloria Clark at the bottom has got a question hello Gloria question ladies during this time of Wezak do you sense the shift of the Buddha into the female energy of Lady Kuan Yin yes there is there is a good question and Anastasia I'm hoping this also helps you and the rest of you watching because um, Catherine and I were talking I'm running a workshop at the moment just a two-hour event and it's called um, Sacred Women and Connecting with Your Divine Feminine. And it's for men and women to come and spend just two hours connecting to the sacred faces of the masculine energy. So, for example, the Buddha's uh, the, uh, uh, Buddha, whose birthday is, is on the 26th, um, they're having a big event here. Um, that's what Bante was telling me earlier when I had a meeting with him. It's Buddha's birthday and uh, in May. And... Um, we are going to be connecting on the sacred way connect to the female face of that which is the Kuan Yin energy the Christ energy we connect with the Mary Magdalene energy and so on but we're we're also doing a workshop because something huge is happening on the planet I mean it, it, it's enormous and we're beginning to remember the Divine Mother the Mother of God and so I've created this two hour event where we we have a tangible connection with the energies and the first person who brought it in was Melissa she was here and Melissa's always a year ahead of the game she was here on the pearl she did the pearls workshop and she yep. took us through a series of um, yellow pearl green pearl and pink pearls and we did these uh, meditations and grids and the last one she did was the rose gold pearl yeah. and the rose gold was so huge everybody left the room and we all came out of that meditation and we didn't know where the hell we were it was like what just happened and we couldn't figure it out and it was such an expansive energy because the first time we consciously connected to this rose gold lady that this mother the sacred mother and now more than a year later finally we be able we, we're now going okay now let's bring that into our body so i've done this little workshop where we actually connect her into our chakra chakra system and um and and really get that sacred divine feminine within our bodies so that's what we've been running and and catherine's actually going to be running a couple of workshops in london as well in london ontario yeah. well you, in you're going to, that right? area yeah in that area in that area yeah, yeah. yeah. so in it's, that uh, you'd have to keep it on my facebook page we'll, we, we keep putting it up on facebook yeah, yeah. um also yeah. anastasia what they're saying i don't know how often you do it but for some reason they just kept they kept showing a salt bath and stuff being pulled out. Yeah. So I don't know if you soak in salt water, like into a salt bath or whatever, but they're saying that. And if you've got frankincense, um, so which is really strange because normally they don't send stuff like this, but even, it's even something in a about... candle, you can get that stuff. Yeah, but something yeah. put... But, um, you know, soaking in a salt yeah. bath because there's... there's You've got something stuck and the salt water will mm. help move that and, and help to balance things out. Yeah, so definitely. And and we, while you're doing that bath, just 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 talk to the sacred women. You know, talk to yeah. Mary Magdalene, um, Mother Mary. Talk to Kuan Yin, talk to Gaia, and um, yeah. yeah, excellent. So we've got Shannon. I'm so blessed to have many business opportunities at the moment. Is there something specific I should focus on? Holy oh, mackerel, Shannon. girl! You just can't ask just one simple question, could you? No. <laughs> wow. Um, let me see. How many Shannons do we have? Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm taking a back seat on this one, Miss Shannon, because she works for me part time. Mm -hmm. So um, just don't tell her to leave me. Then I will shoot oh, no. you. Oh, no. No. There's <laughs> no uh, threats on the no Shannon show. <laughs> yeah, um, only because I haven't really had a chance to talk to you because you're so busy all the time. Uh, there's one that they're showing that, okay. Oh, you're going to have to do some artwork here because they're wanting you to draw a picture on how you see each one of these opportunities and then set them aside and then go back to them because there's going to be one in particular that you're going to look at and it's going to be like, okay, that one's not right. And that one, it, that's one in particular to set off to the side. For some reason, um, you know, like you're artistic and, you know, you're just, you're awesome. What can I say? Um, but there's, because you've got so many things happening all at one time and because you've got this magnificent and wonderful mind, they're wanting you to get it out here, put it on here. Normally they say for people to write down stuff, mm -hmm. but they're, you in particular, they want you to you know, like write down what it is, but then draw a picture on what it looks like to you at that moment and then set it aside. And that's going to be able to give you a better visual 
on where you're going to go at. They're also saying it's going to uh, it's going to ease your mind and soften it. And I'm not sure what they mean by softening your mind. So I don't know whether you've been stressing or whatever. I, I'm not really quite sure. But this is really going to help on that. So mm -hmm. that's really cool. I've never had anybody a, do that. That's a cool cool bit of advice. Take what's in your head, put in a piece of paper, paint it I out, have wrap people it up and, do it, mind dumps all the time. But that's the first time they've ever, and an ever shown. Dump, there you yeah. go, Michael. An artistic right. dump. <laughs> yeah, an artistic dump. <laughs> Write down what it is and then draw a picture. You so. don't want to see Michael's face when we talk about dump. We're not supposed to talk about dumps on the show. <laughs> Where is the show going tonight? <laughs> Catherine. Um, Evan has given so, us, he's doing exceptionally well. My medical team's impressed with my recovery. Back to work, loving it, happy. My, oh, yay. Happy Way life. To go. Very grateful. Yeah. Oh, Evan, no, we're very pleased to hear yeah. that. Well done, darling. And there's a, you know, a true testament uh, on keeping a positive attitude. Yeah. Oh, we've had yeah. some lovely, uh, some of the people who've actually done the Sacred Women um, event with us. That's brilliant. Um, yeah. They've really enjoyed it. June. Is... Yeah. Oh, yes, it was a wonderful... Oh, Marina was on the workshop as well. Yeah, Gloria, I just did a salt bath today with lavender and peppermint. Oh, cool. Um, uh, okay. Gloria, pull in, that, pull in that frankincense as well. For some reason, frankincense for a few people here. So whether it's an essential oil mm -hmm. or whatever it is, just um, pull that in. Um, I'm not really quite sure why. I know that it's good for mm -hmm. protection and um, whatever. I'm not all that well versed mm -hmm. on it but for some reason frankincense has been really coming forward for me yeah. um uh, not just for myself but you know when i'm talking to people i just see frankincense yeah. and that's what they're they're that, needing that, so it's linked to, it's also linked to the sacred mother so I'm not so surprised. yeah so pull yeah. some of that into so um we we'll probably have to wrap it up now but um if if you are new to the 707 show and you just joined us for the first time um live tonight we want to thank you so much for taking the time to come and listen to us old buddies talking about yeah. weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, and Jello Brain here from after the weekend. <laughs> yeah. So and um and please, the only way we can grow the membership in the group and reach more viewers, if people know that there is a really good show out there. Well, we think it's good because we have fun. It's a fun show talking about spirituality, coming out the spiritual closet is for you to share, share, share. Invite people to join the 707 group. It's no use to them just watching the video. They need to join the group, become a member. We had 666 members today. We are we're hoping to push it up to 707 fast. And um, yeah, just let and people just join. Because on only, only if you're a member can you actually comment and uh, participate and be, be part of the show. So um, yeah. yeah. And you're going to come Perfect. back in the season for another psychic reading? Absolutely. We're going to do it again? Okay. Absolutely. All right. Excellent. We're, gonna, we're, we're actually working, we, we have a plan with the 707 show to evolve that Catherine actually has her own show. And um, this is this is part of our plan this year is to evolve you into your own your own show. Look at that. Do you see I've made it live on air now? You can't get away with it. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> My husband doesn't realize that he's going to be part of this. We're going to be training Lee on the camera. Yeah, he's in Kentucky in right now. This is just we like love a, you, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. He's probably like just totally zooed right now. Yeah. He's probably forgot. Yeah. So um, great show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, thanks, for joining. Guys. We've enjoyed it. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, thank Catherine, you. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bye, darling. So, bye. See you next Tuesday. <laughs>